Hey everybody, today I'm going to bring you the entire Buffs collection from Maybelline. Let me just quickly get some information out there. They are permanent. They can be found in drugstores. If you are having trouble finding them in drugstores, or if you go to the drugstore and all of the one in your store are used, Target.com. Uh, they should be soon, if not already, on Walmart.com. They should soon be on Drugstore.com, but I'm telling you for sure they're on Target.com. So, with that being said, and all of them were in stock for about five and change, whereas most stores I see, like, in New York City, they're like $8.99, and at, like, Target, they're like five and change. <sighs> Great news. So, you can get your hands on it, and I have some semi-dupes from MAC lipsticks to talk about because a lot of people have been like how does this how does this compare to exclusive event how does this compare to re-renewed well I have no actual dupe dupes but I have some shades that are so close and depending on your skin tone may look like a dupe one more thing about the formula the formula is creamy um they look a little glossy on the lips but as you wear them they start to look a little bit more satiny um they're very smooth all of them are opaque the lightest shades show lip flaws but none of them bleed none of them feathered they lasted about from four to six hours depending on the shade the lightest shades obviously lasting the least amount of time they have a light honey nectar scent which i feel they've toned down a little bit for this they're not as strong that scent that they used to have not as strong as the other lipsticks and what else can I say the packaging they all have this nude like um, peachy packaging whereas in the past um, a lot of them used to have whatever family they are that's the color packaging they would have like plums would have plum packaging so even the darker nudes like the brown nudes all have this like peachy packaging um, they still have the labels in the bottom that give you an idea of what shade you're getting so if you store upside down perfect um, what else? What else can I say? Uh, I think that's it. There's a few other some new there's a few other new things from Maybelline that I'm gonna be showing you um in the next few videos, but let's start. So the first shade we have is nude barrel and it's number 910 and I feel like this was the most fl unflattering shade that they could come up with by the way oh yeah one more thing I'm glad that they came out with nude colors because everybody was like oh but then we have these vivids It'd be so nice to see neutrals and while I love me some vivids it really is refreshing to see such a wide range of neutrals since they have the fit me collection and other collections and other parts of their you know the face and everything to match you to your skin tone tone but yet lipstick they think everybody's the same nude so this was nice to see a wide range from palest of pale to a dark deep shade like this one so I'm sorry so bare all is number 910 and this shade is just super 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 white I wish it, I wish I could say that this is the lighting but it's not this is the shade it's it's white so if you are super so super even if you're the most Norwegian pale white by the way no offense to Norwegians I love Norwegians I'm just saying like I'm trying to think of like the lightest nationality like Irish whatever you may be if you are like super super porcelain this may be your perfect nude this may be the nude that you've been looking for forever because I've spoken to girls who tell me that they're below NC15 or NW15 I forget what it is in MAC which is the lightest lightest shade so if you're that super light shade and you've always thought why can't companies make a nude that caters to me that'll give me that nude look then Maybelline might have just done it for you and this is number 910 bear it all this I found was the most unflattering on my skin tone and I found this one the hardest to work with because it shows any and all lip flaws like it is extremely white it, it it's opaque it's just super super white it's super white <laughs> I can't explain it any other way but it definitely accentuates all of the lip flaws Ugh. okay the next one we have is number 915 and by the way that might just be on my lips like I would suggest you moisturize your lips exfoliate your lips if you're gonna wear that color the next one is 915 and this one by the way the first one leans a little yellowy I found blushing beige which is number 915 leans a little pink to me and this one I found a way more flattering at least on my skin tone if you're slightly above that porcelain porcelain then you're probably gonna want to pick this one up just because of how it does give you that dimension of pink without leaning too white like the first one but you still definitely get that nude look which you definitely get a little bit more 
shade, I guess. The next one's 920, and this one is Nude Lust. And I wore this one yesterday, and I personally, I only had to reapply it once after I had put it on earlier in the day. And that was after about five hours, and I was wearing gloss on top of it. So that's pretty decent. Um, they are a little soft, so you got to be careful when you're applying. Sorry. And this one is extremely close to its counterpart, 915, but it's just a little bit more pink. You're just gradually getting more pink. Um, 925 is Maple Kiss, and this one kind of like breaks the mold of the last three. And this one leans a little bit orangey, a little bit corally, I found. Um, again, at least on my skin tone. And it's definitely darker than the other nudes. So I feel like if you're a... I feel like if you have, um, like coral undertones in your skin, or you just have that, like if you're a medium skin tone and your lips are already pigmented, you might want to pick up 925 Maple Kiss because that would be your nude. 9, um, 930 is Truffle Tease, and some people have told me that Truffle Tease does lean gray on them. Um, on me it personally did not, but just be aware that this one and um, cinnamon might, this is cinnamon, truffle teas and cinnamon, might lean gray on you depending on your skin tone. And these are also really close, close to exclusive event and re-renewed. Though on me personally, they are not dupes, but on you and your skin tone, they may be. So I would say swatch these on your lips if you can, or pick them up, try them out, and if you don't like them, return them because you might have a dupe on your hands. So let's start with 930, which is truffle teas. That's 930 Truffle Teas. And then this is 935 Sin Amon. So as you can see, they're kind of close. This one, I think, was closer to... Cinnamon, I believe, was closer to the, the exclusive event. I'll have dupe swatches at the very end. Um, so now we're going to start getting into the, um, the darker shades. And we have um, Stormy Sahara. Actually, Stormy Sahara isn't that dark. And this one is again for a very nice baby. This Stormy Sahara, which is 945, actually is still pretty still light. In the family. Actually, it's, I find it very close to Maple Kiss. Like, it's in that family. If you have that medium skin tone and you have pigmented lips, Stormy Sahara might be your nude, or Maple Kiss might be your nude. I feel like those two were close together. They should have been placed closer. I don't know why they weren't. Now, these are the dark shades. So, if you have that, if you are of the darker skin tones, and you've always felt left out from collections labeled nude, then you might be really pleased to see these colors. 940 is um, Touchable Taupe. And Would Touchable be good on taupe a woman that has maybe a darker complexion, but a lighter lip tone. I've seen that in some women, and um, I know that sometimes you want to match your lip to your skin tone, this way you have that nude look. And this might be good for you, either if um, this is your skin tone, or if this is the color of your lips, this would be your nude. And this one is Touchable Taupe. Put this right here. This one is actually a little bit similar to Max Hot Chocolate, though not a dupe, at least not on me, because it doesn't lean enough purple. But on some skin tones, you may have a dupe on your hands. The next one is Untainted Spice. Yeah, Untainted Spice. And this one's just slightly darker. Um, I feel like this one leans just a little bit uh, redder, so you still have that brown red. This may also be a dupe of hot chocolate on you. Again, all depends on how these look on your skin tone. Um, and the last one is Espresso Exposed. I'm wearing that today, and I love it. So even though some of these are nudes, um, if you're darker in skin tone, you're going to have a lot of light colors. If you're lighter in skin tone, you're going to have a lot of um, darker colors. And if you're right in the middle, you're really lucky because you have a great middle range. And you have some darks and some lights. Oh, you lucky ladies. Um, so here we go. Here's the darkest shade. And this one has a little bit of red in it. And I tried to dupe it to talk that talk. I tried to dupe it to a lot of different shades. And I couldn't get it to match perfectly. So I cannot ring the dupe bell. But overall, this collection is amazing. You have so many great shades. Leaning from the very, very lightest to pretty dark. I feel like they could have added a more chocolatey brown in here. I would have liked to have seen that. I feel like that would have really rounded out the collection quite nicely because I know there's some women, they have that beautiful, beautiful chocolate skin. And I would have loved to see a color like that because that would have looked so nice. Like, it's their nude. And also on the medium skin tones and on the light skin tones. 
But uh, Maybelline tried, so I give them credit where credit is due. But this is great. I hope this is a sign that maybe they'll bring back those nude color eye tattoos. You know what I'm talking about? Those matte ones. That would be great. That would have been great to see in this collection. Anyway, what do you think about the Maybelline The Buffs collection? Did you find your skin tone? Did you at least find some shades that were flattering on you? Did you try out some dark shades? Did you try out some light shades? Are you one of the lucky girls right in the middle and you get to wear everything? <laughs> Which one are you? How do you feel about them? Do you like the formula? I don't know. Just talk to me. Thank you so much for watching. Please enjoy the picture swatches. I hope you find the dupe swatches um, helpful. I'm going to have a collective at the very end so you can see them all, you know, next to each other. And so you can kind of get an idea of how they really compare next to each other on the lips. I hope you find that help helpful. Thank you so much for watching and please follow me on Instagram. I'm Recycled Stardust.